So, little pro tip, you may know, may not know. So, most pipes are ran in a basement or attic, but in this particular house, because it's a ranch style house, the only space that they have to run the pipes is uh, in the attic. And when you run pipes in the attic, they're susceptible to freezing. And when a pipe freezing breaks, that's your behind. So, what most people don't do, but they're supposed to do, wrap all your lines with insulator so all my lines is wrapped you know they're all wrapped with this insulating foam to basically you know just keep them uh, insulated as it says and uh, taped up and I'm about to go in there and uh, put these T joints in to the existing pipes and then I'm gonna wrap those up as well uh, that way I don't get no freezing I mean yeah I'm down here in the south side but it does get cold down here once or twice a year so better safe than sorry so time to head up to the abyss and um, go connect these pipes so I could run them over over here so I could get all the water and plumbing on this side of the house. guys so that's it you know job well done victory so um you can see right here uh where we at i got my tea and uh nothing is leaking the house is back to full pressure uh i got the t's right here for my um uh, piping for the sink as well and uh yeah what's up guys what's going on uh i kind of forgot to get do an update. I kind of been coming here and just kind of like cranking out on this uh, apartment and uh, kind of forgot to pick the camera up and roll and uh, yeah, just been getting a few things. I'm not a hundred percent sure where I left off on the last video, which was about a week ago, the last clip, but um, it's a mess in here right now, but uh, the closet is done and uh the bathroom bathroom is uh it's all plumbed got some pipes over there for the uh vanity um that's the vent the vent and the uh lights there and uh yeah i mean it's all sheet rocked out i'm gonna put a switch in right there toilet right there and uh that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see there's quite a few gaps because yeah, you can see there's quite a few gaps in some of the sheetrock there. I'm gonna have to fill all those in because when you're working off of I don't know this house is built in I think 1960s or something like that. Those dudes was using nails and using their 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 heads to to make measurements because things were just off so I had to compensate a lot to make things work in here but um, I mean right mess you know there's things everywhere toilets over there at the electrical ran uh, the beauty is all the electrical is ran all the plumbing is ran got the plumbing for the kitchen sink that's gonna be right over there that's all ran you know a new uh, uh, switch plugs gonna go over there there's a plug over here over here somewhere for the fridge there's a plug behind that uh, behind that wall there because that would be more likely a bed or something but um, right now it doesn't look like much but it's almost time to tape it I got insulation a lot of insulation already installed up top 
And just finishing off the top right now, really, you know, I got this piece here in that last piece. About to cut that out of that board there. And I said, this is tiring. This is real tiring. I'll take a seat. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Uh, got plenty to do. So see you guys in a few. Obviously, I want to show the finishing product in this video. So I'm just going to keep cranking out to not make this video too long. And that way you guys can see just the finishing product and where it came from. But it's a lot of time, a lot of work, <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, man strength. So next. What's up, guys? So finally, it's all cleaned up in here. All cleaned up. Everything is pushed back in the closet. And if you look in my corners, there's foam everywhere. <laughs> so that's a um, quick little trick, little carpenter's trick. You put foam in all your areas that just didn't line up. Just didn't line up. It happens. But uh, that's all right. So, you know, I'm just going to take this foam, going to shave it all out. That way, it's less caulking that I got to do. But um, right now, the whole room look like uh, Frankenstein with, with between foam and all the lines and the nails and all that mess. Now it's time to start mudding up the place. So I'm going to get mud everywhere. <clears throat> mud up all these walls, all these gaps, and make it look like something. What's up, guys? You can see that I got... Mud plastered all over my face, but everything is all taped up. Oof, man, this thing took hours. If I ain't hate nothing, it's taping. Taping sucks, but damn, it looks good when it's done. So everything is all taped off. I didn't tape off right here on the closet because this is all getting like molding. So there's no point in taping it off. All taped off though. <clears throat> all taped off here. Bathroom all taped off. And yeah, I went big shopping earlier. Bought a beautiful countertop. Oh man. It's a uh, real long, nice countertop. You know, I'm gonna reveal that a little bit later in this video, but that's it for today. It's a wrap for today. I'm about to just get out of here. It's like 12 o'clock at night right now. It's time to go, but this place is coming together beautifully. All right, stay tuned. What's up, guys? So uh, inside is done uh, for now. Can't do anything else because I gotta wait till the uh, till the drywall uh, dries. Gotta give it like two days at least for it to cure 100%. So now I'm just you know outside doing all the siding. You can see I started the siding. You can see at the top portion there. All the way up there I'm holding something in my arm that's why I moved my arm all the way but the top portion there uh, I'm missing some uh, some plastic covering like uh, Cybex or whatever and uh, yeah I gotta uh, go pick some up so I'm just gonna go all the way up to right there and go get some of that plastic covering uh, cover that little portion and then uh, yeah we'll be back inside What's up guys? What's going on? Uh, I figured I'd do a three-part video instead of just a two-part because there's a lot to cover in this and uh, yeah I mean you know let's kind of jump into it see where we left off from last time. Uh, so I mean you know everything is all is all uh, all the sheetrock is all done Right now I gotta do sanding, so I gotta sand this off, smooth up all the walls, smooth up the ceilings, the closet, the closet is complete. As I said right there, I'm not, I didn't put no uh, compound right there on that line because I'm gonna be putting molding over there. Otherwise closet's done, windows done, uh, plumbing electrical, bathroom bathrooms all done uh you know plumbing electrical i still got to close up a little piece of that 
been shorting those uh, those pipes a little bit. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, everything else is uh, is done. We'll go to the front. The front is the nicest part right now, actually. I finished this up uh, yesterday. I actually did the, uh, all the siding. All the siding and the window. It's all completed. So, uh, I gotta do this window, but uh, that window is actually a special order because of the size. So, I had to special order that one. That's not gonna come for like another two, three weeks. It's ridiculous. Everything's on back order, but. Yeah, so right now, as you see it, uh, everything is bare. So the next video is when I'm going to do all the moldings. I'm going to do all the trim. It's all the detail stuff that is going to come into place. And basically the whole finishing product for the next video. So that's, that's like the one that everyone would love to see. You know, all the final stuff. But all the hard work, most of the hard work is done for the most part. I still didn't do the plumbing outside to ta uh, tap into the septic system for the house, but that's gonna be the last, last thing that I'll be doing. But I did buy a countertop. I bought a countertop, I bought a stove, uh, got a fridge come in, uh, all the little nice little stuff to really make this place pop and you know turn it into something you know super nice is, I have a lot of it already, uh, you know, the countertops. I mean, uh, the counters underneath or whatever I got the bases and uh, yeah you know uh, so this is you know this is it for now stay tuned uh, you know like subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed already I do all kind of different different stuff around here but uh, you know right now it's just this whole remodel uh, this whole you know garage that literally you know, this was just the garage before, and it is now completely a whole room, you know, with a full bathroom and, you know, a whole kitchenette that's going to be here. Stay tuned. This is going to be cool. See you guys on the next one. Peace.